What's up, my guys? It's me, the Gaming Samurai. You know who it is. And today, I'm gonna do a completely different type of video. You know me, typical gaming channel, stuff like that. You know what I mean? But today, I'm gonna tell y'all story time. Now, huddle around, children. Okay. Now for this story time, we're gonna bring it back, back to my. 10 year olds years i mean like i just hit double digits it's the summer and i'm just you know playing the game man okay man just playing some gta on call of duty black ass 2 black ass 1 playing some zombies you know man chilling and my mom she was out on you know work business trips my dad was um drilling or going to work to you know support the kids so i was just like well i was home alone but well not really home alone i mean like my brothers were like around sometimes but they had jobs so they couldn't buys on me all the time and one of my brothers she he was at um his uh girlfriend's house so he was like, "Okay, hey little bro, yeah, I'm gonna stay with my uh, with my shorty for a bit, yeah, for like a night, and uh, yeah, uh, I left some like I left like fifty dollars for you on the counter. If you get hungry, man, just call Pizza Hut some place. But man, I don't know their number. Oh, don't worry, little bro, I'll text you their number. So he texts me the number." And I was like, damn, thanks, man. He was like, no problem, little bro. Just be careful, okay? All right, no problem. So, just start play some games. And a couple of hours went, went in, just chilling. But then, start to feel the bubbles, man, okay? I start to get a bit hungry, you know? So, I just, sorry about my dog, guys. Um, I started, you know, get hungry. So I grabbed my phone. I look at my brother's text messages. And I was like, McDonald's Pizza Hut. And my dog, okay, I've been having McDonald's for a while now. Okay, I'm going to have some pizza. Hut. And I was like, dude, I want some pizza. Okay, I don't give a hell. Okay, man, Pizza Hut. Okay, 2018, 20, 2017. All right, dog, still had Pizza Hut, okay. Not like it is now, corona infested place. Anyways, so I just start just I just called the place. I ordered a large pepperoni, and I was just like, "Oh yeah, man, can I get a small Pepsi too?" Uh, and he was like, "Yeah, sure, little man." So, so they ordered my thing and. I just, you know, gamed, had fun, fun, and then a few minutes go by, and then a few seconds go by, I mean, wait, <laughs> and then an hour goes by, and still nothing, and then I finally hear a doorbell ring on my, in my door, and, you know, man, living in my neighborhood, that, that ain't a good thing, because, well, oh, man, you never know what's going to be out there, I'm just kidding, just kidding, no, nah, man, I grew up in a good neighborhood, kind of. Not much, I don't know. Uh anyways, I look outside the people and he and it was just the pizza guy. And I was like, Hey, what's up man? What's up, little man? Of course being like ten, everybody's usually nice to me. And I was like, Hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? I got a I got a large pepper only for you, my guy. And I was like, Okay, man, thanks. Uh Okay, so the total is ten dollars, and I was like, "All right, man, thanks." So I give him ten dollars, and usually I always tip the people. Okay, man. All right, I understand. All right, they struggling. Uh, they're okay, dog, trying to pay their bills. So I always tip them well. Okay, I always pick, tip them like ten, seven dollars, maybe eight, and that's a lot in the streets. I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. Like, they trying to survive, trying to do all this stuff. So, I, you know, 
might give them a little bit of bang for the buck for you know helping a G out. Anyways, so I grab it, I grab the pizza, I pay A the man, and he was like, Hey, thanks for the tip. And of course at this time I did not know that I made a huge mistake. I accidentally a added two twenties to the pile. Now I thought that that it was like five dollars and two singles. But I don't know how I got damn stressed up even worse. But um yeah, I did that. I I hated that, definitely did. And I didn't know that yet. But he said, Okay, little bro, have a nice day day and he left. And then he was in the he was in the car, I think, counting the money. I don't know if he was. But he probably noticed that I made it. So he drove off, and I was like, okay, man, got my pizza, got my games, still got some money, maybe I'll go, go to the store later, maybe buy some chips, I'll look at the boys, play some GTA, you know, man, chill. Now I get to, get to the kitchen, and I'm like, hell yeah, man, time to go eat myself some pepperoni, the good stuff, man, okay? And then I open the box, and I... And I, I cannot stress this enough. Two tiny ass breadsticks and garlic. Like not just like a tiny little serving, serving garlic. The breadsticks, the box was covered in garlic. And I was like, oh, oh, Jesus Christ, goddamn disgusting. And like usually like do like a few few dots of garlic here and there like I can handle but that oh I'm, I was about to throw up and so I called the pizza place back and I was like what the hell is this bench <laughs> went full on carry mode <laughs> so they say what you serious dude I'm not even joking and he's like sorry little dude he was like, no problem, man. Just, you know, call the delivery guy back and, like, just give me my right order, please. He was like, no problem, dog. So, he calls the man. He says, oh, yeah, it'll be right over. So, he gets here, and he was like, oh, dude, oh, little dude, sorry. And I was like, oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, here's a pizza. Oh, no, yeah, thanks, man. And I was like, hey, is there anything wrong with my tip? that I gave to you last time? No. And I, in my head, I was immediately like, stop the cap. <laughs> and he was like, nah fam, nothing, nothing wrong here. And I was like, you sure? Yes. And he was starting to raise his voice. I mean, I was like, okay, homie, calm down. And he was like, I don't like, like people saying that it's not true even if, if it is and I was like okay you need to calm down though it's like don't tell me if I need to calm down I'm like alright fam I'm gonna go eat my pizza oh yeah and plus can I have my drink and it was, it was like uh yes sure and he he backs away and he just snickers at his voice Boy, stupid little brat. And I just turned around and I said, The hell you just say? And he was like, Oh, nothing. I was just called, You stupid little brat. No, no, no. I know that. But why? Because you're being a stupid little brat. I mean, you could have just ordered another one or just took your or your order like a, like a G and just ate it. I was like, I am not paying for two pizzas, one that I didn't even get for, for, and the other one, I don't even have the money to buy another one, dog, I got like 25 cents, and he was like, oh, dude, that sucks, who stole your money, you did, and he was like, brother, I don't know what you're talk talking about, and I was like, <sighs> First off, okay, you know what, no. 
Let's go back to you calling me a little brat. Yeah, well, you kind of are being, being one. And I was like, two options, man. Okay, you get knocked the hell out or you get knocked the hell in. Either your choice or mine. I don't give a hell. And he was like, okay, yeah. Okay, calm down, man. Well, I didn't actually say that, but, um, you know, I meant it. Anyways. I just was like, oh my god, just, I gave you two, two twenties, and he was like, yeah, so, and I was like, so you just admitted that I gave you two twenties, even though 20 minutes later you said that I did not, yeah, but money doesn't make you a good Person, I mean, yeah, I know, but you could maybe go a bit easy on me, man, okay? I, I'm, a, I'm a baby cub. And he was like, I don't give a hell, okay? If I was on my shift right now, okay, this would have been totally different. I'm like, okay, so you're thre threatening a 10-year-old. He was like, man, shut up. And I was like, okay, so you just swore at a 10-year-old as well. And then he's just like, I'm done. So I went into my, I went into my house completely like I <laughs> shut the door in front of him, chilled out for a bit. And then I was looking outside my window and this man's still on my porch. I mean, why, why are you still here? He was like, I'm not leaving till you apologize to me. Excuse me, sir, are you five? He's like, nah. Okay, then why the hell are you acting like a five-year-old? He's like, I'm not. I, you are. And I was like, dog, you're like a five-year-old who actually delivers pizza. Anyways. So, my brother had like this big old air horn. And I just started like blaring this thing. This thing went through like the entire neighborhood. Anyways. And just like this terrible little smirk on the f and then he said and then I called the pizzeria and I was like fire that man right now and it was like oh yeah no nah, man he never he never delivered a single pizza ever again and it offered me like a hundred dollar coupon in coupons and like that basically is what's up yes okay <laughs> sorry about that boys anyways um so that happens, and then if you want to get diabetes, dog, okay, this is the way, all right? Anyways, have a good day. See y'all later. Talk to you guys tomorrow.